Jeez. Um, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the Morpha Project. Um, so today I actually wanted to make sure that I'm having these, uh, the left side fully colored. And after that I will call it a day. Uh, <laughs> but uh, for the rest, uh, actually everything went well. It's just, you know, uh, this day was actually quite uh, quite a long, long day for my mind. I don't know why, though, but apparently I was a little bit tired. Who knew? <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, um, no further ado. Let's get started and uh, let's uh, focus on uh, getting this thing uh, fully pictured in. That's at least, you know, what I want to achieve right now. So let's see if, if that works. Oh, boy. Nope. All right. That is the, oh, that is the other one. That's not the colors, that's the, this is the colors, yes. All right. All right, um, let's see how I'm gonna do this. Probably like, oh, probably like that, right? And then from here on, I need to do a uh, lighter and darker, and then you know, merge it all. I think that's the best way to do it. But first things first, get the light color first, and then and then the hot, and then the hot color. It's better get first the light color and then and the rest. Jeez. And also, when you do so stumpy business and all that stuff, so, eh. I'm not surprised, honestly. You can fix that bit. Don't want to have white spots in there. That would be horrible. So, yeah. Um... Today was actually quite good. I uh, finally did some cooking uh, today and it actually turned out great. So that's good. I also refilled the rice. Uh, two, uh, one month of eating and then without uh, one month of eating with uh, two kilos of rice is uh, two kilos of rice. It's actually quite nice. And uh, today I actually wanted to make sure that, you know, I had a new supply. So I bought some. I bought some from the store. All right, uh, ba 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 what now? Um, yeah. So as you can see, so as you can see, the um, amount of um, colors that we have here is a little bit too much, but we should be able to get to the point where we want to be, which is, you know, figuring out how to do this. But that will be fine. First, we just need to light up this whole damn drawing. With a bit of lighting on the grass and then after that we can you know move on to darkening the grass as well and then after that making sure that uh, the grass is fully done properly of course you know that is gonna be taking quite a long time but eh, not supposed to be that much of a problem anyway Because all that all that is necessary for this to be cor uh, doing correctly, we just need to have some lighting, and then after that, uh, we can do some darkening as well. After that, we're gonna draw some rocks, and after that, we are gonna be moving on to the next bit. Jeez, Louise! Always takes so much time. All right. I 
very nicely done. And the main idea here is that we're just going to be coloring in the grass, and then after that we can do the things afterwards. And that's always the main issue with the grass. It needs to be colored in. And to make sure that that grass is looking nicely done, we need to make sure that the grass is looking nicely. So, uh, therefore, we need to color it in with darker and lighter colors of, gra uh, of green. And then after that, we can finally focus on the rocks and then focus on the rest of it as well. You can see that you know the lighting. The lighting already has some good effect on the uh, grass itself. Actually, makes the grass much more reliable to look at. And it gives more eye-catching appear uh, appeal to it, which is nice. It's been quite a long day today. I actually did a lot of things and then I was very tired afterwards. But I did my thing. I did my things. Also I got some more stuff. I also got some more coloring done for the um for the background for the magical girl story, so that's good. I'm now working currently on a carpet and I need to color it in fully. Which is a very uh, lovely thing to do. It's just a very annoying thing to do in in the first place. Like uh, you need to figure out like, ah, oh, well, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to do this with colors, and then I need to make sure that those colors are all there to compositing each other. And probably afterwards, uh, I also need to uh, recolor the line art as well. Because, you know, I cannot go for black, probably. Because otherwise it won't fit as a background. Eh, maybe it would, but then I need to use the blur tool. Probably that's going to be also a thing that I'm going to be probably doing a lot in that thing. But, yeah, who knows. I have not yet fully, fully mastered that. But that's what it is, right? Practicing making perfect. Oh, well, practice always makes perfect, it's just, you know, it always takes a lot of time and effort. Yes, the highlighting actually worked quite well. Nice. All right. Now continue with the rest of it. Because this highlighting actually gives us the idea of what we need to do in the first place. Then we're going to make some trees and then we're going to use a blur tool to create the depths for the, the end result. Or at least, you know, that's what I'm going to be aiming for in the first place. Of course you don't want to overdo it, because that also creates problems with it. That's why you always need to be uh, very sure of what you do. Well, I'm not always very sure what I'm doing, but I'm trying to do my very best to correct my mistakes all the time. And learning is, uh, is always a trial of error for me. So. 
All right. Uh, boopity 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 boop. The grass is almost done there. And, you know, the more we do this, the better it gets, so no need to worry there. No, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Ah, uh, nothing happened. Good. Nothing bad happened when the coloring changed. Ah, uh, that's always good. Don't want to have that happen, like, you know, oh, yeah, I'm using this color, and then suddenly everything changed, like, ah, oh, well, that's not good. And, um, yeah, now we have this. Now we have this kind of effect going on. We have these highlight, highlight grass bits. Now we actually need to make sure that we have some darker bits as well, because, you know, well, we're, we're doing the thing that we are need to do, and that is, you know, creating the... Um, uh, darker. I believe this is the right one, right? Like so, right? Uh, but yes, like so. Well, normally I only did one color, but I will do the second color as well because it is actually quite important here to do. Whew. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to do, but it should be fine. Just like that. All right. Four. God damn it. What I just want to make is here some dark bits into the grass, that's all. Of course, you know, that's always not going to happen, probably, because you need to always make sure that you have certain things going on. Oh boy. It's going to be a pain in the ass to do this bit. Because it's that much grass. But, you know, it's very good for practicing. It's like, you know, oh, well, what, what do you need to do? Well, I need to do this. What is that? Um, well, just, you know, color in the grass. Get the grass the right amount of color. Give the grass the right amount of highlights. Give the grass the right amount of shadowing. To give it more of a look that it's looked like grass. Not like, you know, just another color smart on top of it to represent grass. That is the idea, at least. And we will get to that. It's just going to be taking some time. Because I'm using the low-grade uh, brush for this. 
I'm using the low grade brush for this because of that if I don't do that, um, little issues will form for me at least, and I don't want that to happen. Also, this will give the effect of, you know, like, oh, what are you doing? Well, I'm actually technically painting, but I'm not painting technically because I'm just filling in the colors that uh, need to be there. And honestly, that is good enough for me. Just coloring it up, making the grass look like grass by making low highlights and then dark, dark lights into it. Which gives then the feeling of, you know, that it is a little bit more dispersed instead of having this uh, big amount of grass just leaping around. Now it does feel like a grass bit. Beforehand it was actually feeling like, you know, just, you know, casual green. Just, you know, you smeared the color green on, on it instead of feeling and making it feel like, you know, a grassland. Or, well, a grassy hill or rocky grassy hill, whatever. Lush grass, uh, lush, ah, lush grass combined with some heavy grass and then, you know, some tree trunks, some rocks inside of it. But, you know, we're getting there, we're getting there. It's just, you know, it will take some time. The main issue that I'm always having with this is that, um, a lot of this depends on the depends on the vision of how you're doing it because you know that's why i always hate drawing grass it's one of the most easiest things to get wrong especially if you do if you fucked up the texture or whatever uh, fucked up the line drawings because it's so easy to get it wrong because one simple move of, you know, a little bit too much spread out, a little bit too much, uh, too lush, too big, um, too small, you know, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, that is a pain because you will see that in the grass. And the only way to prevent that from happening is, you know, making, uh, is that uh, by, you know, realizing it. Like the first time I drew the grass, I drew all oh, back in the day. I always drew the grass like this, um, all that. Eh, 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 which, which works. It works, but, 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 but. The main problem that it uh, that that will bring with it is that if you do it like that, if you do it like this, and then you know have a big opening after that, is that it will leave um, a trail of error. So if you're not good with textures, uh, like me, I'm not good with texturing. I'm not good with coloring. Whatever I'm doing with colors, it's very bad. the The amount of colors that I use normally is like. I I have never used colors since ever since uh, I never have used colors for almost from to the from 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 preschool to till 2020 I probably have not used a lot of colors it never was my intention to do coloring never was until you know i was like all right i need to do some coloring because i want to do digital art but i didn't want to do it in the way of like you know all right i could do black and white but you know black and white eh. it's not very uh it's it's still the same so black and not white is um a lot more natural for me because you know it's just black and white you see it and you you see it and that's how it looks the only downside of that is it doesn't it it doesn't make it alive it makes it very restful that's that's for sure it is very nice to look at but it is not very lively because of the black and white textures that I'm always using like you know draw one with one color it's all it's all there it's nothing no differences no no effects that can happen, nothing. Just, just draw, just a draw of you know. The color, what uh, the color black, the gray color. 
And uh, what did teach me that? What what did what did what I did achieve with you know just only drawing colors of black is creating shapes with those colors. Of course, that is very good, and it does create it does create good pictures. But the main problem is that you then didn't improve upon the texturing. So the first time I ever used uh, coloring, uh, I'll, I'll show you how fucked up bad that was. That was like the main issue that I had like a long time. The colors that I used then, it was all like, ah, well, um, I have these color problems, and now I need to fix that. Yes, true. It it threw me off guard. It threw me um, straight under the bus. Let's put it that way. Yeah, straight under the bus. Because, you know, I don't have the specialty of, you know, knowing what colors I should use or when to use such colors. So I had to practice and, you know, figure it out on my own. Which is not bad. Oh my god, fuck's sake. Which is not bad. It 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 does teach you a lot upon like ah well all right if you have this color and that color combined you should definitely go for this or that kind of idea which is uh very nice to know so now we have a grass that looks nice it looks it looks light enough but it looks dark enough yes this 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 grass looks good this grass looks good it is Nicely tainted by dark colors, light colors, and that's all I ask for. Alright, we're gonna save that because I now need to show you what I mean. Because I, I'm not talking without any talking at all. So, uh, let's see. What one was the worst one I went with? believe if I go from can I order from something like can I no all right I cannot do that um I can look for it that's good enough I can look for it and that makes it absolutely terrible um, which one is the oldest yes well, let's go for dreadful. That that one is actually a good explanation why. <laughs> this is my old. F uh, this is one I. Uh, this is what I normally. Uh, this is how I normally draw. It's uh, black and white. Easy to understand. It is a very. It's a very. Um, it's all handily drawn by you know using this, this pencil and then you know using the uh, three point six drawing so you have this and then you know you draw the eyes on top of it and then you know you draw with it the main problem here um i should probably noticed is that because of this it actually creates a little bit of an issue with the pencil it it does give good quality don't don't get me wrong now it just takes a lot of time to get towards that quality and the black and black and white actually learnt, made me learn like, all right, I want to give this more of a vision towards it, so I will draw like you know, more, more, of, uh, more, more and more stuff, and then you know the the lighting comes with it as well, which is nice, which is very nice. So yeah, that is how I normally draw, and then you know I needed to do other stuff. So as you can see here. The main problem that I have with this now, with the pencil problem, is because I was not able to achieve the uh, right amount of density, uh, sharpness, let's put it that way, sharpness, yeah, I had to move towards uh, this bit. So now I have a sharper tool, which I can draw upon, and makes it much more finer. I can do much more stuff with it put this right there put it like this you can see that it actually works quite well and that's that's what I liked about it you know that's that's what I like about this tool right now it, it, it gives me a little bit more of an issue it gives more of a detailed look towards it and that is what you need you know you you want this you don't want to have this blurry kind of feeling towards it yes this is like you know this is normally for sketching true and 
that is exactly what I what I uh, what I intend to do with it. But you know, you can see that you know once uh, once the once the octopus handle goes down, you know, you you have the ability to to mold it, make it more sharp, and make it more look scary. You know, all that stuff. That's that's what happens. And right now, that's why I'm using this pencil too. Because, well, as you already have noticed, sharpness is a thing that is necessary to maintain the eyesight. Of course, you know, not everything needs to be sharpened, but, you know, the way of pressuring is the skill here. So, technically, if I want to draw here, I need to make sure that if I draw, I draw, like, very very nicely and softly which i'm still need to practice on all right um further yes we're gonna go further so i actually want this to be on a different layer because of rocks and now what we're gonna do is a very very harsh one we're gonna draw rocks and as you can see, because of the sharpness that was already there, the rock is already coming to life, which is nice. It's a, it's a very little, it's a little thing, you know. It's the little things that that count. So that's the that's the main that's the main benefit of you know drawing now with a sharper, a sharper brush. Is that you know the drawings come alive far more quicker because of the amount of detail that I'm putting into it. Of course, you know, we want to make sure that this is a background, so that's why this thing is so big. But as you can see, the background, it there is no need for a new background because the background is already implementing the uh, view. As you can see, view, view, see? Yeah, it's, it's already making sure that, you know, we're not screwing ourselves over. So that's good. Now the only thing we need to do is actually draw in the base colors of the of these rocks, and then you know, move to the next one, do the same, do the same, and then until we have every everything, and then then we're gonna do some a little bit of a coloring again. So we're gonna need to go for dark colors, lighter colors, and then you know make the rocks come alive more better, more finer. Of course, you know, this kind of detail I cannot use for the Magical Girl story because of, you know, the art style is different. And that's why I'm now having a lot, that's why I had so much trouble in the beginning of it, with working on the background, because of the different art style that I'm using, so therefore I need to make sure that I have the right amount of line, line, uh, line thickness to go with. Of course, you know, it has still the same things, you know, it has still, you know, it has detail, don't don't get me wrong, it has detail, it's just, you know, different kind of detail. And that detail can uh, definitely achieve certain types of things, which is nice. It's just that, you know, it's different than um, the, one that, the one thing that I'm now doing, which is, you know, finishing up the Moffat project. The Moffat project, of course, you know, is Oh my god, no way! It's the butts again! Best adult dating site ever! Well screw you, buddy. I don't need a I don't need some spamming piece of shit butt to do my job. I will better spam it all myself. Alright. Well, you also promoting pornographic shit and you're posting all so stupid stupid Uh what are you also posting? Uh Harassment? No, not really. Misinformation? Yes. I don't think those were girls anyway. Nope. There are no girls on. Oh, there are no girls online. It's all. It's all a lie. So, uh, bugger off, buddy boo. <laughs> oh man, I have not used that word for quite a long time. Bugger off. <laughs> yes. So, as you can see, um. Because of the amount of you know um, the amount of sharpness that is in the rocks, the the whole drawing is actually getting far more better, far more cleaner, far more better than before, which is good. You want that. You actually want that to happen. Now, since that we're doing that, we now need to go to the next rock, and uh, of course, you know, do the last one, and then after that, we're going to be making sure that the rock looks nicely. 
It needs to be looking very elegant, very good, very rocky. So, yeah, I have been busy. Um, next week I will be even more busy than before because I need to do some certain things to do. And I need to get my head together to get myself uh, up and running with uh, what I needed to do in the first place. Anyway, uh, that is going to be for next week. Well, you know, we need to get the Morpha project done. I also need to do something all, all, all done that also has a time limit. So that's good. And then also then work also on the on the Magical Girl background story. Oh, well, background. So, uh, yeah. Um, probably I will have that done by this week. Uh, have I... Will I get the background done? No, I will not have the background done. I will have probably partially done. Eh. Well, the main problem is that I also need to babysit my nephew, so... Uh, well, it's not a problem. I really like to babysit people. Especially that I can watch free television. Uh, but since the ads are running now, uh, I am better off doing some other stuff, right? Yeah, probably should bring my Steam Deck with me. Just in case. Anyway... Um, what was I? Oh, yeah. I was talking about I was talking about uh, what I'm gonna be doing to, uh, this week. So probably I won't be able to finish it all. The magical girl stories background, but um, it's for the prelog anyway. But I will probably get it. I'll probably get halfway done. No, not halfway. There is a lot of stuff that I need to do. Well, first things first, I am already working on the carpet, and uh, that already took like almost three hours to just get the colors done. It's like, colors, please. Coloring things in is much more harder than goddamn just drawing it in. Jeez. Uh, because, well, as you probably already, uh, as I probably already mentioned, I need to decide what colors I'm going to use. And I'm not the best one to ask, like, hey, does this dress look nice on me? And then I would say, probably, I don't know. I, I have no idea about colors. I am literally as blind for colors than anybody else would be when they are seeing, like, a black and white picture. I would say, like, hey, those are colors. And another person would say, no. Black is no colors and white is all the colors. So there are no colors on it. Yeah, that is... Uh, Probably gonna be saying, but hey, you know, uh, better, better than better safe than sorry to say the least. That you know, the ways of how I use colors is not always the best way to do it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna use the rougher one. We're gonna use the dark color, and as you can see, the rock is taking shape. Oh yeah. This is what I like about, you know, using a rock. Because the more you do this, the be the, the more the more you work on, you know, getting the rocks done and getting this feeling of rockiness upon it, you know, making the colors work together as a united like a united nation. Oh man. Hmm. It's nothing more satisfied than just looking at colors and uh, rocks and then you no know, see them shine and shimmer. It's one of the most best things about going to a beach. Anyway, you know, you go to a beach. What are you gonna looking for? I'm gonna look for rocks and shell and shells because they are shiny. Yeah, true. And that's why you're going to a. That's why you're going to a beach. And I'm gonna be going to a beach because a bird just choked to death. That is uh, the least of my concern. <laughs> And you're probably wondering, like, wait, what? what? <laughs> yeah, I went. I went to Iceland, and uh, there they had they had birds that choked to death on the beach. It was not bad. It was not the best. It was not the bad. Uh, the worst thing uh, I saw, but it's one of the things that I always get disturbed by. Like, oh my god, it's a dead thing. I'm scared of dead things. Yeah, you should be. They are sometimes very scary. Eh, luckily I never have crashed. Because holy shit, if that will, if that would have happened, ooh, I'm not good with. Uh, let's see, I need this one again. 
So yeah, as you can see, I'm trying to work out where to put the rock upon the layers, making sure that the rock looks like a rock. And you can see, you know, implementing the uh, things that we did before, it does give the rock the feeling of a rock. And that's what we wanted to achieve. It's not that the rock is uh, a bad thing here, right? And as you can see, we want to make sure that the lighting on the rock is a bit here and there. A bit on, on the nose. And that's all we need. Alright. There you go. Now we can look back. And we see this rock. What? We see a rock instead of a goddamn tree. So now this rock is actually working quite well. Uh, let's see. The rock is actually quite up and down, up and down. Uh, bu 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 bu. Needs to be a little bit more lighter on this side. Because it's important that we don't, you know. Yeah, there, there you go. That's that's much better. Sometimes you cannot see that the color is good or bad. It's it's very hard to guess what kind of colors you're, what kind of colors you need. There you go. And now we have a rock that looks nice. Yes. All right. Next one. Mr. Rock 2, Electric Boogaloo. There you go. Let's go for Rock 2. So yeah, get to the darker colors, make the darker colors happen, and then, you know, move on to getting the rock into the position of what you want. Of course, you know, the rock is always a, a good drawing. It's just, you know, the rock is a very hefty, hefty object that needs to be drawn in, like a hefty object, you know. You want to make sure that it looks like a rock, otherwise, you know, what's the point? It's uh, not a point in my case, but good to know that the bots are active again. So that means that I'm getting popular. Oh, yeah. I'm getting bot. I'm getting bot views because of goddamn porno sites. What are the odds? Ah. Please don't change, YouTube. This is great. And I mean it, like, I mean it, like, I, I don't mind, you know, getting spammed to oblivion. I can still fix it myself, so, meh. It's not like they are like, oh, we need to advertise, so we're gonna spam this all around the world. And I'm like, alright, you do your thing. I'm not gonna be... I'm not here to say no to you, but uh, just know to yourself that it's technically illegal. Thank you. All right, I'm totally neutral on that side. All right, let's see this rock. Ooh, fancy rock. Too much there. This one needs to go. Yes, that one needs to go. Mm, yes, that is good. All right. Now we're going to go for rock two on our rock tree. Oh, very fancy rocks, I know, but it's all need to be done. Because the more rocks we do, the more rocks. As you can see, the more I do this, the better it gets. So it's all good. It's all good. And this is why I like these rocks so much. And that's also why I like these rocks. The more the more colors you add to these rocks, the more highlighted they get. And because of the texture they have, they already have natural effect towards it. 
So right now we already have like a rock, which is good. You know, it's it's a good rock. It's not the best rock, definitely not. But uh, we'll, we'll get down. We'll, we'll get down. We're just gonna add in some more dark colors towards it and make this epic like this. Oh, all right. And then this. There you go. Now this is actually looking nice. We have now this rock right here, this um, big giant chunky rock. And we can now add in some lighting. We need some lighting, not some useless piece of shit lighting. Now we need to actually blur it, because apparently I made some mistakes. Oh well, no need to worry. There we go. Now we have multiple rocks again. So now we have rocks. We have rocks, we have rocks, we have rocks, and we have rocks. We have rocks into this building again, and we made the rocks happening, so that's no worries there. Now we also need to have the tree bit. So we're gonna go here. We're gonna pick up this color right there. Normal color first. Like that. And then we're gonna make it and then we're gonna make it happen. Because that's how we do it. Oh, oh yeah, blend tool. Nope. We need just a color. We're gonna color in. And as you can see. The more stuff we add, the better it gets. And after the and after the street trunk, I will le I will call it a day because of the amount of stuff that we already have done. And apparently, there is a dog outside barking. God damn it, barking dog. I'm trying to concentrate here on a goddamn tree trunk. And I definitely should go for the big chunky boy. Yes, boop. Until, of course, I get to the point where I don't want to use it anymore. So, around here and there. That's the maximum. Uh, this is the maximum amount I can use it. Now I need to go back here and then, you know, fill it up. All right. Now that part is good. Now we need to move this way, and then this way, and then this way. Oh man, I will be very happy once this thing is all uh, fully done. I will be very happy because this thing took like way too long. To get finished well maybe that's also my fault for just only streaming it once a day but damn still it's uh it's a good pro it's a cool project though it's a cool project very entertaining very informative which i like i like that all right now we have chungus mac chungus here on display and as you can see, it's on display. Whoa. And now I see some problems appearing. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <sighs> One of the negative things that you always need to realize is that if you are using the goddamn brush, you would do it.
This is what my main problem is always with that thing, goddamn thing. Is that the over overextension because I use too much of a thick brush upon it. Oh well. Eh. Can still fix it a bit. So no need to worry about four. Good to remember that. That that is a thing that needs to be fixed. Alright. <clears throat> no further ado, let's get on to the next bit, which is um What the hell? Oh, I see. <sighs> That's evil. Yes, alright. I need to lower down this brush size again because of that. Is the brush size not strong enough? It is. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um. No, I need this, and then I need to grab, alright, I need to grab this bit right there. Alright. Alright. That should be doing it. Yes. Sadly I'm using the sadly I'm using this format, aren't I? Yes I do. God dang it. I should have known. I should have known that um using the other format is actually oh boy. Oh crap crap crap. Not that one. I need to go for this one, right? Yes, and then I need to go down. Uh, nope. A little more down, more darker. Yes. Excellent. Oh, man. This is gonna be... This is gonna be a pain in the ass to do. And why did I go for the detailed one? I don't know. I made a mistake here. I should have gone for the easy one, but because the trunk was already too big, uh, I should have gone for a less detailed trunk. Uh, well, you know that that's that, that's normal, you know. Figuring out way too late that you know you should have gone for the less detailed one. Like this part here, yeah, this this part right here was was good, but the trunk, whoa, trunk is evil. So there are some bits here and there that uh, I should have been working on myself. Alright, now we're going to go for a little bit of a uh, midpoint here, which is the big middle point, which is this. And uh, a little bit less. Yeah, that is good, I think. I think that's good. I 
After all, it is hardwood, so it should be fine, but you never know. Uh, let's see, then. Then some little lighter points here and there, top of it. All right, this should fine. This should work. Yes. All right. Hmm. Now we need to gear up something. So, um, I'm gonna make something happen here, just in case. Yes, just in case. Um, yes just in case uh, something happens like this so I want to double check this before I'm gonna leave this and I'm gonna leave it like that all right this is the blur tool which works don't get me wrong Blur tool always works it's just you know it blurs away this all right it blurs away that yes so what I want to see if I do this. What happens? Or do I need to use the add color to it as well? I do. All right. Oop. Well, that sucks. All right. We're going to add it in there. We're going to add it in there. We're going to add this in there as well. We're going to add all the colors in there of the universe. So all the bit, all the stuff that needs to be done. All right, and now we're gonna add in the filter. We're gonna go for a lens blur. Yeah, blur, blur. Blur, blur is better. Blur, blur. Yes. So we have this. We can see this, and then we can go for the soft eraser. And then we can add in the blur here, and that should fix it all. Yes, that works. Good. Okay, that works. And then with particle effects, and then par particle, uh, and then use particle effects, and then lower, and then darkening and lighting the area. Yes. All right. Good. Oh, all right. I was afraid that might have been fuck fuck me over, but no, it didn't. All right. Good. Keep that filter up and running. Saving this because that's important, and then calling it a day. Oh, look at that. Fifty-five minutes already. Who would have thought that it would have been taking one hour? I would, because I already calculated that, but... <sighs> Coloring. It always takes so much time. Anyway, um, I hope you all have enjoyed for today. And uh, thanks all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Until then, I want to wish you all a lovely day. And uh, 